character. This is just not the character. I don't, I like it. I really love oh Batman. I love Batman. Batman is still good. Like, I don't just, understand how you could say the great. But now, okay, now the now in the reboot since he's not there, then yeah, I'm sure it's good. Well, he's writing action. Do you think his action is bad? Well, I'm sure it's good because his ideas would work with Superman. It will work. I mean, why can't they work with Batman? Batman's still in the same universe. It's in the same universe, but he writes Superman better. But his Batman, I don't know. I'm but I, I don't understand how you can say, oh, he ruined Batman because Batman traveled through time. And Listen, you meanwhile, can go... you can still have in the same universe people who come from different planets and, and I don't want the that... Legion of Superheroes, you, but I Superman and can't, they travel you through can't time. Pour that... I cannot. I don't. I don't see how you can you say can't pour Batman all... can't travel through time, no, but no, no, Superman no, 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 no. can, and everyone can come back to no, no, Superman. No, no, no. Like, okay, you can't, Superman, you're you the greatest. You can't do that with Batman because Batman has a certain style. When he does all that crazy sci-fi stuff, and I mean really crazy sci-fi stuff, he's a Justice League. I admit it because you're the super team. But Batman do is all that stuff. But Batman is a genius. Bruce yes, Wayne yes. is a genius. But, he doesn't just yes, benefit from when the it fact comes that he has to, tons of money. When I read a regular Batman comic like this, even though it's based on the video game, when I read something like this, I don't want to see Batman go to another planet and talk with aliens and time traveling and so forth. You know, I don't want to see. I'm that. not saying it needs to be in every Stay book, but it can happen every. It can seat. happen every once in a while. Yeah, well, it was too much of Grant Morrison stuff. Like, I was just ridiculous. But most of Grant Morrison stuff tied in with the Justice League. I didn't want it to. I just wanted to just stay Batman, Batman stuff, you know? Just stay in Okay, Batman I can thing, understand that one. You know? Yes, I enjoy like, Batman. With the Christopher Nolan totally... films, everybody's like, well, it should tie with other DC movies. I don't want it to tie with other DC movies. Just no. keep it the way it is. No, I think that's... No, that's a strictly Marvel thing, and I don't think the Avengers is going to be as good as everyone thinks it is. I, I think don't think so gonna... either. I don't think so either. It'll be good, but I'm gonna th I think it's a bunch of people who are going to be fighting for screen time. Yeah, sort yeah, of. yeah. You know, I, I mean, I, I'm gonna definitely go see it. I'm oh, gonna yeah, see my right. action, and I don't think it's gonna be blown everything out the water. I mean, come on now, it's gonna be like two hours max. And it pains me to say, as a Joss Whedon fan, I really think that the movie is not gonna live up to expectations because I think yeah. it's going to be a bunch of. Stars trying to fight for screen time, and I'm calling this and one ahead like of time. Dutton, I'm going to call Batman. this one ahead of time. I don't think it's going to be as amazing as everyone thinks yeah, it is because yeah, I think that's what it's going to be. Uh, Thor and uh, yeah. Iron Man, everyone else trying to fight for screen time. You know, Iron Man's going to win the most screen time. Come on, oh, Robert yeah. Downey Jr. Oh, yeah, you know, clearly. It's, it's, you know, he knows he's going to get the most screen time. Talking bullshit to Banner and all that crap, as you can see from the trailer. Yeah, and I don't like the fact that they changed Hulk every movie. This Hulk. isn't working for me. Can Why we, is it all can we find a Hulk that? and and stick with him? Just, Everyone's just bitching about the whole Edward Norton thing. Like it's you know like 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 he he acted well in the movie, but since they cut out so much of it, his performance didn't really shine. So. That's why he didn't seem so great to me in the movie. Oh no, I'm just tired of them switching Hulk every, yeah, yeah, every of course. movie. Can we, can we really just pick one actor to play Hulk and just stick with it? I mean, most of the time, you don't see Banner in it. You see the Hulk. You really don't need a, a super famous actor to play the Hulk. Like Brad Pitt. Like Yes, exactly. Brad Pitt, Ed Norton do not need to play the Hulk because Banner should have as minimal screen time as possible because when you read a Hulk comic or you see a Hulk movie, you want to see the Hulk, um, not actually, the science see, behind see, making the see, Hulk. See, that's where he's wrong because he's too much of a DC person. Because because this is why Marvel's been whooping DC's ass until recently. Until recently. They care about their the alter ego a little bit more at times. They show how human they are. Something they're doing with Superman right now, as of what, from what I'm hearing. So you don't think that they've they've explored that in great detail with Batman, then? Adam, the oh, they did. They did. They did. They, with Batman, that's an exception. That's the exception, for real. That's the exception. I mean, Wonder Woman. Who really cares about Wonder Woman's alternate identity? To tell I have you, to tell you, no one really cares about Wonder Woman. Well, they really haven't established Wonder it. Woman's alternate you know, identity. They haven't clearly established doesn't matter. It. Yeah, they haven't established it yeah. at all. You know, you know, you're talking about all these characters that no one cares about. Why? Well, the no one, cares about, about, no one cares about the superhero. Who's going to care about their alternate identity? No offense, Green Arrow, Pansy. No one cares about Oliver Queen. Well, they yeah, haven't established it yet. That's, that's true. Man. Can I ask you guys a question about the new 52? Oh, sure, go for it. What do you think? Oh, I love the new 52. I mean, not every book is a hit, but there are a lot of good ones. Grant Morrison writing action, really good. <coughs> Scott Snyder having a couple of books, always good. Jeff Lemire, a couple of books, always good. Uh... Brian Azzarello on Wonder Woman makes me want to oh, read Wonder Woman. Genius. Oh, he is. Although, coincidentally, not the nicest guy. Met him at Comic Con. Not exactly friendly. Well, Scott Snyder. Well, on when the you other have hand, a bunch of geeks coming, could you say my autograph? Of course, you want to be like, fuck off. Like here, here, take it, take it, leave me alone. You know, yeah, that's how. I'm. The way I was raised is when you give someone a compliment on their work, 
the thing you should do is say thank you, not yeah, whatever. Ge look, nerds, geeks are, some of them really go overboard. I'm sure you met a couple that you just want to say shut the fuck up, like, you know? Clearly, but some if someone comes to you at a convention, say, he doesn't know. He's probably another writer. weirdo. I, mean, I really enjoyed your work. I've read everything that you know. A lot of the work that you've done, I've really enjoyed it. And your characterization of Wonder Woman has made me want to read a comic that I have never cared about. The correct response would be, "Thank you. I hope you keep reading." That would be a normal, polite response. Not, Look, "Yeah, whatever," know. and throw my maybe, comic. Maybe they get laid that day. I mean, who knows? <laughs> I mean, it should happen. But I'm liking to do 52. But I haven't read anything. But. I'm liking the direction it's going. It's making it more 21st century and all that. You know? It works. I mean, it's about time they start kicking Marvel's ass when it comes to sales for us. I mean, Jesus. Like, it's about freaking time. I have a theory behind that. I think that Marvel has a, has a better backing because they have Disney's dollar behind them as opposed to Time This Warner's is before. Cable. This is before. And, no, I, you have to admit that the what name Stan Lee carries a little bit more weight. Yeah. As, as for an advertising yeah. Yeah, yeah. campaign. Created by Stan Lee. Then... Oh, and uh, uh, Stan yeah, yeah. Soapbox. Oh, okay. You have to admit, Stan Lee is a good advertising tool for Marvel, even though he is uh, really not writing much more. He hasn't been written anything since when? Like, since, like, what? He still Maybe? comes up with, like, random characters, doesn't he? Yeah, but to tell you, he really cares about them. We're like, okay, that's like, not, where's the next Spider-Man movie? You know? uh, that's, that, that's the thing you care about, you know? Is that thing still on? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think yeah. I'll call this one a quit, quit for now. Yeah, because, you know, you gotta get going, and I yep. gotta go get this this cream thing in my mouth, whatever, Ole, the, the, the Fidity, whatever this crap is. Hey, good talking to you again. Yeah, good talk with you. Good seeing you. Yep. Later, everybody. Yep. Peace. I'll put on YouTube. See you tomorrow. Yep. Uh, oh, nice. Someone's gotta ring me up.